how can that build anything that executes something, right? It, it, it's just to put something in the input and something comes out. Whereas the clock, like how would that execute something? How can that change over time and do different things according to the instructions? And I don't know, it, it seems so weird to think how the static thing becomes something so dynamic. And the crucial idea is that you start connecting the outputs back into the input. And that's what you see in this SR ledge. It's, it's breaking that mindset of it's just like inputs coming in and outputs. You break that because now you take the output and connect it back to inputs and suddenly weird interesting behavior emerges. And that weird interesting behavior can be for example uh, made into what we are calling an SR latch which is basically like flip-flopping between uh, set and reset, uh, called like between Q and not Q outputs, wh whatever. It's, um, yeah, and then based on that, you can build a bit more complicated up until you, you get like the D flip-flop. And now we, we go even a bit further. Now we introduce the JK flip-flop, which is another kind of variation or improvement or advancement or modification of this idea of 